back for part three and I'm sorry that I had to pull it out into part three but this took me a little longer to get through than I had expected and I want to get you guys all the information so bear with me we'll get through this and thank you for coming back to to hear the end of the story um so we are talking about self-care during social isolation again we should always be practicing self-care um this is just a, a higher time of stress so I thought it would be important to um go through it with you guys and give you some suggestions on what that looks like so we talked about the eight segments so we have the emotional segment social space which is your environment um, spiritual financial personal work and physical um, so we've we've covered what all those are what they are in our body and then I asked you guys some questions to think about and gave you some ideas that I had so now it's, you know, we, in the first video, we had the barriers and challenges and there's a lot, you know, and that's, that's life and it's hard, but, um, things that we don't feel are selfish, you know, like if we need to do something for our kid and it's hard, we still find ways to do it. Right. So we should do the same thing for ourselves to take care of ourselves. So we need to find our allies and supporters. So remember I asked you guys to have your notepad and um, schedule out. So this would be a really good time to have those. Um, hopefully you were brainstorming some ideas. Um, I will talk about Pinterest again. You can always find good ideas, printables, um, just fun things to do. And some things you might want to merge together um, with the family to do self-care, which is okay. So who can help you? Who are your supporters and who are your allies? Um, you may need to ask for help and that's okay. We can't be everybody all the time. We're not supposed to be. Um, it, we, we need help. You know, it, it does take a village to raise a family. It takes a village to, to grow as a human being and be a good member of society. And that's okay. And it's okay to ask for help. So please, please, please ask for it. So who can help us? So to teach, uh, to schedule, to relieve us of some of our duties to accompany us because sometimes that's really nice to have somebody to go with you um to remind us to do it so we all need like an accountability buddy maybe um a partner and somebody to assist like those are all components people can fill and i'm sure there's a lot more uh, those were just the ones that i felt kind of summed up everything as to why we would ask for help things that we didn't know how to do or maybe weren't good at doing ourselves so the people that can do this would be our kids significant others um teachers your co-workers family friends um you could ask respite care there's still some of that going on um your faith community your um workshop leaders, you know, different organizations that are posting that. I mean, most of them are online on Facebook and all you'd have to do is send them a message to ask them a little bit more about what that looks like and how can you sign up. You could get a babysitter um, and online is a huge resource right now. So, um, and the cool thing is, is maybe if you step out of your comfort zone a little bit online right now, once all the social isolations is over, you might be more likely to, to step out and go join these in person. Um, so don't be afraid to do that. So what resources do you need? You know, based on what you thought maybe sounded like something you could do, um, or you'd like to do more of, what do you need to know? Who do you need to contact? Um, do you need to find internet to, in order to search that? I did see that, um, I know if you're watching this, you're accessing internet, but the public library, even though they were closed, they had boosted their um, internet signal so people could still um, access that from the parking lot and they posted their password as well. So they're, people are trying, they're trying to help us get what we need. Um, and what tools would be helpful for you? So do you need to get a journal? Do you have a notebook laying around that you could use for now? Um, do you need to make a space in your home? Um, do you just need to clean out a closet or two? Um, there's a lot of things we can do. So be thinking and brainstorming those. I want you to think about 
what you can do right now. So if you were to um, turn off this video and go do something, what would it be? Maybe watching these videos or you know other YouTube videos is your self care and that's awesome. What can you do right now? What could you do tonight? What could you do tomorrow? What could you do next week? What could you do in the next month? What could you do in the next three months, six months, nine months, a year? And just be thinking about those and maybe schedule them. Um, we want them to be, you know, smart uh, goals. So you want them to be specific. Like I want to clean out my closet tomorrow. Put that on your calendar, right? Um, it's timely, it's reasonable, it's something that you can attain on your own, right? So, um, some things you might need a little bit longer because you need more resources in order to do them. That's okay. And you might need to ask people for help. That's okay too. So what I want you to do is brainstorm those and then make a plan to do them. Accessing, um, you know, your helpers that are going to help that. Accessing your allies and your supporters. That way... They can help you find those other tools and resources. They can help you um, take on some of the duties that you have as the parent and the teacher, w whatever that looks like, so that you can make some time for yourself. I have not met a single like person that I've worked for that didn't believe in self-care. Um, and sometimes you just need to have that conversation um, with your, your boss, your supervisor, if, if you're not getting that and you need it. So... I want you to have a what, a when, a where, and a who. So what you're going to do, when you're going to do it, the frequency you're going to do it, where you're going to do it. Are you going to do it online? Are you going to do it in your office? Are you going to do it in the living room? Are you going to do it in the bath? Are you going to do it outside? Um, and who do you need to help you do that? Then that's okay. And then put it in your schedule. Put it on your calendar. Set some reminders. Set some alarms. Um... I love Alexa. I don't know if anybody else has Alexa, but you can tell her to remind you about everything. And it goes on your phone, it goes to your house, it goes everywhere. So I have to do a lot of those because um, uh, I don't always remember to have post-it notes. And I don't use the notes app on my phone very well. Um, or my post-it notes get like cluttered. So if something really important like that, I set reminders so that I won't forget. So that's what I have for you guys on self-care. I want to remind you to ask for help. You're probably going to need it, and that's okay. And take care of yourself. It is not selfish to do that. Um, you know, eating the whole gallon of ice cream and not sharing it with anybody else because it made you really happy might be a little selfish. But if it's your ice cream and it's you're the only one that likes that flavor, why not, right? So um, I want you guys to please... Pick at least one thing and go do it today to fill your cup and take care of you. So stay healthy, um, stay happy, love your family, embrace the moment, and take care of yourself. Thank you guys for listening. Please subscribe and save. Um, share, like, comment below if you liked it. Comment below if you have topics you want to talk about. So we will be uploading weekly on Fridays, but during this time I will have more videos coming. So if you're following us on Facebook, those will um, pop up too. And when you subscribe, you get notifications for new uploads. So I look forward to talking to you guys again. Thanks.